Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you might be watching. Let's see how easy it is to add numbers in a word table column. I want to find the total salaries. So what I need to do is to click in any cell in the table. And this shows me the layout tab at the top. I click on the layout tab and at the far right, I'll see formula. Don't click that just yet, because what I want to do is to click in the cell in which I want the answer. Now I can click formula and by default it shows me equals sum above the numbers above. I'll click OK and the answer comes up 268,000. Nothing could be easier than that. I just had to make sure I clicked in a cell to see the layout tab which showed me the formula, <coughs> excuse me, formula tab at the far right. Now let's say that I wanted to see the salaries in the rows above, in the row above the salaries. What I need to do is to click on the layout tab. Then I need to click on the formula once I've clicked in the cell that I want the answer in. And when I click on formula this time, I have to just type the uh, formula in, sum, but this time I type below. And when I close the bracket and press enter, there it shows me the same answer as above. So this just indicates to me that I can uh, use Word to show the answer above or below a group of cells. As an alternative, what I could have done was to click in the cell that I wanted the answer in, then click Formula, and then in the Paste Function drop-down, I could have gone to Sum, and then simply typed Below, pressed Enter, and got the same answer. So that was an alternative method. Let's say that I wanted to count the number of staff who are being paid salaries. What I can do is to click in the cell in which I want the answer, click on the formulas tab, and then get rid of, by backspacing, back to the equal sign, and using the paste function, count. Then we want to count above, press enter, and the answer comes up six. So there we see we were able to use a statistical function other than sum. Now let's look at the average function. In this particular set of data, we want to find the average age of the employee. So we'll click down in the cell where we want the answer. And then we will go to layout, formula, and we'll backspace to the equals sign and the paste functions we want to find the average now let's click uh, uh, sorry let's uh, type above so we find the age average age of those above click ok and there's our average age 36 33 while we're here Let's just consider that the word tables use the same column and row identifiers as Excel. So in the example above, the name, age, etc. would all be in row 1, and the column name would be column A, column age would be column B, etc. So therefore, bill salary would be in D5, which is that cell there. Four, four columns across, so that's A, B, C, D, and one, two, three, four, five down, making it D5. So we can use those column references, as we'll see shortly in the 
uh, calculation of a salary increase. It's been decided to give Tom a salary increase of 10%. The way we do that is to click in the cell where we want the answer, then lay out formula, and we need to get rid of the sum function down to the equal sign, and the paste function for multiplying a number, which will be his salary multiplied by 10, 10%, is product. So we go down to product and then we type the salary cell which in this case will be D2 and the function or the number will be 10%. So when we press the enter key we should see 5,400 and that's exactly what we see. So we can do that with other numbers using the product function if we need to multiply numbers together. Remember that what we saw in that particular uh, function argument was the cell reference for his salary which was D2 comma and the number percentage that we wanted to multiply his salary by. That completes this small training video in how to handle numbers in Word. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so. We love likes and comments. And again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.